U.S. pilot's body remains in plane a year after crashing in Cameroon. Villagers discovered the body of a missing American pilot flying for the nonprofit African Parks a month ago, but Bill Fitzpatrick's body remains sitting in the cockpit of the plane he died in. Why, you ask? Fitzpatrick's family is running into a litany of bureaucratic issues with the Cameroonian government. Fitzpatrick, 59, who took off from Kano, Nigeria en route to Douala, Cameroon, went missing last June, after his plane went down in mysterious circumstances without sending any distress signals. Fitzpatrick's family got some closure when his body was found in April when villagers stumbled across the Basuki Mountains crash site. However, since then, Fitzpatrick's body remains in the Cessna 172 he was transporting to a national park in the Republic of Congo, and repatriating his body to the U.S. has remained a logistical nightmare. African Parks, the Johannesburg-based group that employed Fitzpatrick, cannot remove the remains without the help of Cameroonian officials, but getting the dead man's remains back to the U.S. doesn't appear to be a priority for Cameroonian officials. One official in southwest Cameroon told the Associated Press that Bill's remains have been conserved in the pilot's sea and told his family to rest easy after painting that nice little image. Granted, Cameroonian officials have Boko Haram to worry about, the presence of the terrorist organization in the area is also the reason why the U.S. won't allow Fitzpatrick's family to retrieve his body themselves. However, his family continues to desperately seek his body's return. They've created a website called Find Bill Fitzpatrick to increase awareness and raise money for his three kids. And Fitzpatrick's brother Ken has pleaded with American officials and diplomats and even tweeted at the Clintons for help, all to no avail. Leave an insightful comment on Tomonews.net and you could win up to $500 every month.